One of the things that comes up constantly uh, for people who are coming in with that stigma of either a mental illness or an addiction in place, and the resistance, the the stigmatization, the, the, the kind of class level sort of attitude that often is taken by the public. Maybe here's a little something that might change that for you. When somebody has an addiction, in all likelihood that addiction came into their life as an attempt to actually better their lives. If I'm in emotional pain and I discover alcohol, I might go hallelujah. I finally found something that numbs that pain out. The problem with it is, of course, that it it, it gives me that much of what I want and that much of what's dysfunction. So then I end up in the addiction. The, the addiction becomes part of my life. Now my body's craving it. I can't get out of it. And that's where the system, maybe the, the healthcare system, Kool-Aid in particular, and the clinic, maybe even more so, comes into play in helping somebody dis, disentangle that mess that they've gotten into. What we're doing is... It, if, if I need a solution and the solution isn't coming, I will look for the closest possible substitute I can get. And if that sort of cobbles together something that works for me in the face of nothing else, that's the one I'll use. Um, when we're talking about mental illness, when we're talking about disability, we're not talking often about something that's in our face every day, every moment of our lives. Often. The people that are coming in with disabilities are not walking in on crutches or in a wheelchair. They're coming in and they can carry on a fairly good conversation most of the time. But when that disability blossoms and is in their life, when the depression hits, when the manic, manic depressive stuff starts to happen, they're not going to be in a job. They're going to be a danger to themselves. They're going to be a danger to everybody around them. But it's not a visible disability. And that's a really hard one to cope with. When there's a mental illness in play, very similar thing. It isn't obviously right out there in front of them all the time. So it's the sort of thing that if we can just compensate, they're doing the best they can for the most part. And the bit is to accept them as they are. It's a process. They're in transition. Our job is really just to be there, accept them as they are, and then we make the next little step and we progress. Thank you.